Hello there. If you are a middle school math teacher looking for additional resources and activities for your students to use when they finish their work and need more math material that is actually important and not just like busy work, or if you want to be able to give your students something a little bit more a little bit different um, and something that they're actually going to want to do, you're in the right place. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. In this video, I'm going to be chatting with you all about choice boards. If you don't know what choice boards are, or sometimes it can be referred to as menu math, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what choice boards are, how to use them, and why we want to use choice boards. They are simply amazing. If you never heard of it, you are in the right place. Let's jump in, shall we? Okay, what the heck is a choice board or menu math? My personal definition of what a choice board is, is it's simply a page for your students where they are given choices of math activities. I'm gonna pull up what my choice boards look like for you so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so this right here, is my fractions menu math or choice board, okay? So it is set up in a three by three grid. So there are nine choices for my students. And your, what I love about this is students can literally choose whatever they want to do to complete on this page. Because really, as the teacher, I don't care what they choose. I'm not gonna tell them that, but I don't really care, right? I want them to be able, the, the, the reason why choice boards are so powerful is because it gives your students the choice, it gives them autonomy, it puts the control in their hands. So they go through their whole entire day usually with whatever teacher telling them exactly what to do, right? This gives them the ability to make a decision and decide, okay, well, the teacher is letting me have, I have nine choices, what do I wanna do? So on this page alone, students can either teach the class, they have make a list, they can find the error, create a quiz, um, you know, make a word web, write about it. So they can do whatever they want, as long as they just pick one of these. Okay, so that's what a choice board is. Why do we want to use choice boards? Because, well, again, it gives them an alternative to just me saying, turn to page 91 and answer the questions one through 10. Like that's so boring and I don't even wanna do that. So if I don't wanna do it, my students aren't gonna to wanna to do that. So this just gives them the ability to choose. When students have the power to choose, it can decrease negative behavior, can decrease some of that, you know, some of the those difficult student behaviors that you might be experiencing. It gives them the ability to feel in control and that's really really important and for us it just makes it easier because it's a win-win right we get them to do math and they feel like they're winning because we're not telling them what to do how do we use choice boards in the classroom okay so you can use this in so many ways personally you can I like to use this in a stations activity. So I just put this out. Students have, you know, 15 minutes to, and I tell them, all right, and while you're here for 15, 20 minutes, I want you to complete at least two items on the choice board, pick two things. And you can pick one, two, however many you want, right? I would not suggest do all of them because that takes the choice out of it, but pick one through three, right? One through three items. I like to use this as a homework alternative too where instead of giving a page or whatever kind of assignment, I will tell them, all right, you guys get a choice board for homework tonight. This is the fractions one. Um, I want you to pick three things out of the choice board. And it makes them, you know, for them, it's like, oh, I'm gonna pick the three easiest things, right? But whatever easy means is totally relative to them, right? Because I might have a student who doesn't wanna draw, but another student's like, yes, that's so easy. And that's why choice boards are so powerful. You can also use this as classwork. You can have students partner up and take turns, right, in a partner activity. There's so many ways. If you are thinking, wow, 
like this choice bar looks cool. Where do I get this? You can use, click in the description box below and you can grab this yourself. I have three choice boards for you actually. There's this fractions one, there's a geometry menu math choice board, and then there's an expressions menu math, all set up three by three where your students have the choice to choose. And it's so incredibly powerful. If you've never used choice boards before, it's really amazing. I highly encourage you to start implementing this in the classroom. It's not something that you wanna use all the time, but definitely a great Friday activity, a stations activity, a an activity when you have a sub, like if you're just like, oh my gosh, I didn't write any sub plans, like, ah, shoot, you know what? Their assignment for the class today is to complete the choice board. Maybe not complete it, but complete four items on the choice board while I'm gone, right? And it just makes it, it just is an, another alternative for you to use. Again, if you're interested in grabbing these three free choice boards that includes a choice board for fractions, geometry, and expressions, click on the description box below to grab it right now. Until next time, see you soon.